Hi there, it's Sandra with Bruce City Thrifts. Today I am at the Wauwatosa Goodwill. Let's hit it. The first hard goods you encounter when you walk into this store are shelves full of vases. And they usually color code them. And also sometimes there are little visitors from other parts of the store, like these little fat ceramic chickens, which I thought were really cute. And I like the blue glaze on those. Kind of contemporary though, so I moved on. I noticed this Celadon looking glaze on this item and it was Longaberger pottery. Um, I, no, you know, obviously Longaberger baskets are very popular. I took a minute a little bit later to look it up just to make sure I wasn't passing on something really good. And I don't think they sell for too much, but then I noticed this lovely hand painted Italian vase. It had a really nice um, look to it, lots of color, some florals, and uh, it did look to have a little bit of age. So that was the first thing that I popped into my box. Among the red faces, I first take a look at this 1980s style vase with an orchid on it. I do think it's very 1980s and that is, uh, you know, some people are very interested in items like this. It had a little bit of enameling on it too. But then I noticed underneath it, this cute little fat cat plate. It matches the set of plates I got my daughter last week. And so I'm taking that. Still among the vases, I noticed this piece of milk glass. What I really loved about it is that it had a Lily of the Valley design on it. And of course the top has that um, sort of um, pronged um, sawtooth almost a top to it like a, 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 a spiky flower. So I put that in my cart to think about it. I'm partial to long rectangular baskets that you can use for storage or you can use them for gift giving. I just find them super versatile and I'm starting to collect them for the holiday season. So that one went in my cart. I notice here among all this beautiful uh, glass, this uh, out of place chunky ladybug. It is a hook or a something that you put on your wall to hang things and I just like the design it is very um, it's probably contemporary but it's so cool that I decide I'm going to take that and it goes into my cart returning to the shelves I see through the slats on the shelf this and of course I pull it out immediately I know this is a Karak tray this, these are made these were made in California they are mid-century the design on this one is uh, using um, international or foreign coins. And that is the, the design concept was all about using things from the environment in these trays. So it's got its original label. It is only $3.99. And while this design isn't as wow as some of the Karak trays are, it's still a pretty solid tray in very good condition. So I put that in my cart. I'm moving into some areas where there's serving ware and I notice this um, crock, it's a lidded crock and it has some nice design on it, avocados, mushrooms, they're transfer ware and inside there's a bowl, it turns out I looked it up, it is a dip chiller and it's by Gourmet Village, fairly contemporary, nice piece but I decide I'm going to pass on that. Instead, I pick up this item, which I suspected was Otagiri because of the speckled ceramic, but it turns out to be a treasure craft piece. It is a spoon rest, and it is vintage, and I like the wheat sheath design, very 1970s-ish or maybe 1960s, and spoon rests are so practical, and they sell well for me, so I decide that I'm going to take that with me. Continuing my search for 
something that's unusual and vintage here in the serving ware area. I am scanning the clear glass items. My eye is always drawn to things with color, so I take a quick look at this bowl, this footed bowl. It is not the highest quality, so I put that back on the shelf. Then I notice this teapot, and I I love the shape. I love round, kind of fat round squat teapots are really, my eye just always goes to those. And I turned it over. It's by Stangle, and I'm thinking to myself, hmm, maybe this is something to look up. Now, for me, Stangle items are a mixed bag. They don't sh sell very high and not very well but I thought I really like that pink thistle design so I put it in my cart to think about it and then I spotted this which was the matching sugar um, it is uh, obviously a match but as I turned it around you can see that there is a broken handle that has been repaired and I decide that I am going to have to leave that piece behind unfortunately Returning to those shelves, I had noticed this very colorful hand-painted serving dish. It's divided into three parts and it's got lovely florals and it is Italian. So I decided to put that in my cart to think about it. It does seem to be a fairly common item and I'm not sure that the resale value is super high, but I decided I wanted to think about it for a while. It was very pretty. Oops, almost knocked down that vase. Noticed another hand-painted vase back here. It looks like maybe from Knott's Berry Farm or something. I saw the word Knott's, what appeared to be the word Knott's on it. Reaching back here, I saw another hand-painted item. This is a sugar bowl and it has some age to it it seems to have some age to it and it has a marking on it that is blue ridge pottery and i decide hmm, if some previous seller wanted to point out that it was blue ridge pottery i should probably think about this one for a while as well so that went in my cart for me to think about moving into the tchotchke aisle i noticed first this ceramic fish figurine and then this uh, ceramic pomander or um, potpourri holder and then I noticed this set of glass um, I think these are oil burners or oil candles and um, they are missing the burner but they are still a very pretty pink with white and I thought the pair of them might look pretty on a shelf. I noticed this Ormolu gold vintage Kleenex box and I pulled it out to take a better look at it. I mean, it's got a very detailed and fancy Ormolu um, pattern and these can be very collectible. Some people love them. Of course, it's very Hollywood Regency. It's very ornate and um, but this one was just a little bit too worn for me. I thought maybe the, the gilding was just a little too worn, so I did decide to leave that on the shelf. I am looking for figurines that catch my eye. I do, I am, I guess, rather picky. I don't know why. I just, it really has to be something that speaks to me in the figurines. And I, um, I first noticed this Canon replica miniature cannon and it had a nice heft to it so the metal in it was really solid I also noticed this airplane figurine it was um, kind of 19 it made me think kind of 1950s or 60s and then I noticed this lovely deer figurine and it has a um, a maker's mark on it and that ears are not chipped. I think it's really pretty. I was very close to taking that with me. It also had a, it was a little bit abstract uh, with the carving of it. So I did really like it. That was a fun little Fisher guy. Back here, I noticed a resin turtle. 
And then I saw these. And these humble little triangular um, trinket dishes are, of course, enameled. And the enameling was really fun and bright. And I thought, well, I'm going to take them. Um, enameled metal sometimes can be, um, those items can sometimes go for some good profit. And, you know, I look for Bovano of Cheshire. That is a brand that I know to look for. Um, those, I wasn't sure if those were Bovano of Cheshire. Then I noticed this fun little polar bear family sleeping. And over here, I pulled out first this um, a bird that was on a piece of wood. It was more contemporary. And then I noticed these. It was a stack of starfish dishes, glass bubble dishes, and it, it, these are made by Mud Pie. My sister likes Mud Pie, so I decided to pick them up for her. I noticed this collection of what I wasn't sure. I thought they were egg cups, and then maybe I thought they were shot glasses. They're all from England, and the more I looked at them, I think that actually is an egg cup because it says laid today on it and fresh today with a picture of a farm. So I think those two are egg cups. Um, uh, some of the others, I think, are little creamers like this one, which uh, it says... Um, fresh from the farm, but obviously it's got a little pitcher and a little spout, so I think those are creamers. Anyway, it was a lovely little collection, hand-painted, and the pieces, uh, these two were from Scotland, and the pieces that I was most attracted to were those two, one with, um, I think it says scotch, and the other one that says rye, and uh, took a brief moment to look at that little um, resin bird be because I was moving it out of the way actually to pick up this which was the matching creamer to the Stangle teapot that I had picked up earlier and that was not damaged so that went in my cart but coming back to where I was originally I did decide after quickly looking at that fun little frog I did decide to put the oh I'm sorry it says bourbon and not um, whiskey the bourbon and the rye little um little i guess shot pourers or anyway those were i thought quite cute so those went in my cart continuing to scan for other items that catch my eye i noticed this resin piece it's got a typewriter and a cup of coffee and some books and um i just thought it was really cute and quaint and I like some of those detailed resin pieces, but I left it. Then I noticed this um, this relief cut carved wooden plaque. It is in a foreign language, I'm going to guess maybe Polish. And I just thought it was nicely done, so I put it in my cart to think about it for a while. Continuing on to look at some figurines and tchotchkes, I notice on the shelf this, and I am kind of a sucker for these things, for um, rustic, industrial looking uh, cookbook stands or that kind of thing, and this was right up my alley, so I decided I needed to take that with me, even though it's contemporary, I knew I was going to find a use for it. Moving on, this looked like a pewter um, base and top for probably a globe-shaped glass potpourri holder. It was heavy, so the pewter in it was of good quality. Then I noticed this little trinket box with some lovely blue flowers painted on it. It is, It said Royal Austria on the bottom. And I thought it was sweet. I took it. So I wanted to show you this little novelty piece I found. Not that one, which was kind of cool, a, a um, copper train. But this, it is a ceramic piece, obviously shaped like a toilet. And written in Italian on the front is, All the knowledge of the chef ends up here. <laughs> so I thought it was kind of fun not my thing but somebody's gonna like it <laughs> among the candles i noticed this baggie full of 
what look to be like little shot glasses and they were they're delft and i do like ceramic shot glasses i do look for them usually in the glasses aisle these i thought i would give them a shot but um bum i noticed this hand painted salt and pepper set it was um it was definitely looked to be vintage and behind it was another little condiment jar that uh, looked like um the ones that we saw earlier from England. Then I noticed this baggie and it was super heavy. It was full of all these miniature clocks and most of them seemed to be metal. They were all different shapes and sizes. I could hear some things rattling in there so perhaps a few of them might have had some broken pieces. But as I looked through them, I just, the variety of shapes, the fact that they were all, you know, uh, pretty solid metal. Um, they also look like they could work. I don't know if they are working. I thought the, for the bag only being $4.99, I was going to give this a try. I noticed this covered buttered dish or cheese dish, cheese bowl. And when I looked on the bottom, it looked to have some age and it also was from Sweden. I know some Swedish pottery can and glass can do well. I loved the simplicity of the shape, it, but yet the sort of elegance with the design on it. So I decided I was going to put it in my cart, hopefully without breaking everything else and think about it. Okay, it's that time, my friends. It is cut review time. I'm gonna be taking things out and putting them on shelves just so I could get to the things on the bottom. Now that was the Roarsgrund, I believe, brand um, butter dish, and I was going to take that. I end up putting the Blue Ridge Pottery Sugar back. I also put this piece back, which is the Italian divided dish. I do keep the Stangle teapot and the Stangle um, creamer that I found that matches it. So I'm just putting them down. I'm going to put them back in my cart. This is the Karak tray that I'm definitely taking along with that a woven, uh, actually it's a bamboo uh, rectangular basket. Those both come home with me. I also put this back. This is actually a Westmoreland piece, the milk glass. I keep the trinket box. I keep the ladybug. I do put back this piece of Italian pottery because it has a chip on the bottom. There, you can see it. So that does go back on the shelves. Not these shelves, I actually put them back where they came from, by the way. I do put back the little Scottish um, uh, little shot pitchers I guess you might call them the bourbon and rye pitchers go back I do keep these uh, enameled trinket dishes I had picked up a pillar candle for my boyfriend so that comes home with me I do take the treasure craft spoon rest and the little fat cat um, I think it's a rice bowl I do keep those little uh, pink glass baubles there's that creamer Putting things back now. Just putting them in my cart so that I can return them. <laughs> Trying to be a little more careful as I put them back in. They were a little bit wonky. I had picked up this fruit and vegetables apple crate it's contemporary, but I like the look of it, and I definitely want to take it. I um, There's the Delft shot glasses. There are the Excelsior mini clocks. This is a Hobby Lobby piece, and this Polish wall plaque does go back on the shelf, along with the Blue Ridge pottery. I do keep these mud pie starfish, and there you have it. That's my cart. Well, that was a blast. I ran out of time. I didn't even make it through the store, but I did find some really cool vintage things. I think I'm the most excited about that single teapot, 
I think I've had mixed success with Stangle items. I looked up the teapots and those do tend to be a better seller for Stangle. So happy about that. I, um, I was excited about those little enamel dishes and what else oh see I, i'm already forgetting all the things that i got but um i mean i was just having a great time oh those clocks that bag of clocks i mean i am really looking forward to researching those i don't know very much about them i'm figuring for five dollars and all those clocks i certainly could at least make my money back but that's just really curious that was a really cool collection so fun times i had a great time i hope you did too if you did please like my channel, subscribe, comment. I love the comments and come back and do this again with me. And in your own lives, thrift on. We will do this again.